In this video, we'll see how to create a module artifact from the scratch itself. So whatever is written in my Microsoft Word document, let's say I have a user requirement specification, same requirement specification I want to create into rational dose next generation as a module artifact. So before going to that module artifact, creating it, I'll just show you how does a user specification look like. So that is one sample specification which I've created here, HSBC bank project, user specification version 1.0. And there's some text which I've written here that is introduction, intended use, business goals and so on, some text. So what I want is I want to create similar kind of module artifact in my rational dose next generation. So what I'll do is I'll just see this introduction, intended use and I'll try to make it as that place. So if you observe this introduction is nothing but a heading. Uh, intent use is a heading and business goal is a heading below those headings there's some artifact that's a text written so i can write as a business goal as a information as a vision anything so i'll open that first i'll go to the uh, rational dose next generation if i want to create a module for the first time module artifact i'll just go to this artifacts click on this modules and i have this option as create so once i click on create it gives use case specification another is import and upload so i'll go with the first one use case specification so when i click on that i'll get this kind of window which says what is the name you want to give so i'll give as hsbc use case requirement use case requirement and from here i can select different artifact types so if i select artifact types i'll get i'll click on this more and i'll get multiple artifact types which are available here right so any one of can i can select so use case specification is the best one i'll select right now and the second one is artifact format so artifact format is by default here given as uh, module because i have clicked on module and clicked on create next is i can select the location and i can give some tags so i'll just click on okay so once it is done it will navigate to the uh, module artifact and it will open now it is totally empty there is nothing in this place so what i'll do is i'll try to see the pane that's a contains pane and there's a left side plane where you can filter and right side you can change add comments links etc so we'll start with the middle one it says do you want to add the existing artifact or do you want to create a new artifact or the third one is space special so i want to create a new artifact in this place so i'll see in the word document whatever is written i'll try to paste it here itself i'll just click on this create new artifact now if you see it says uh, the number is nothing given id number and there's a cursor is blinking now it is in the edit mode so i can modify or i can edit any artifact at same time but if you see that's a toolbar if you remember in the artifacts when we started for the first time text artifacts this toolbar was available so now what i'll do is i'll keep on writing the headings so i'll write the first heading i'll write as introduction if i want to go to the next line i'll press enter so the enter will bring to the next line if i want to go to the next artifact if i want to create press control enter intended use third one i have business goals and finally i'll press control enter so this way i'm just trying to create three headings here and if i go back to my word document i'll just see that introduction there is intended use business goals and there's a vision statement so i'll write vision statement and scope again here i'll write as vision statement and i'll write here as scope right so but if you observe if I click on this place, you observe the heading style, whatever style is given. If I click on this place, it says heading one. If I click on this place, it says heading two. That means this is the main part and that's a heading. That's a sub heading given here. Similarly, if I click on this, it says heading one. This one, it says as heading one. And this one, it says as some other heading, normal heading text. So what I can do is, this is not the parallel headings, introduction, the intent use. Obviously, this will be one two and this will be 1.1 1 1.1 1. 1, 1. 1, 2 3 3.1 kind of so what i'll do is i'll go back to my place here and if you see that's introduction intent use business goals so in, intent use is nothing but the sub part or subheading of the first one so what i want is i want as 1.1 so i'll just click on this place and you have the option as demote artifact the option is given as demote artifact if i click on this you see that is one and after that 1.1 if you observe the numbering automatically changed i do not have to go every place and change the numbering same what you have in outline in microsoft word similarly you can do it here itself 
Similarly, if you see here that the scope, scope is nothing but a subheading of number 3. So I'll again click on this, select that and LCS demote artifact. So you see 3, 3.1 and this number automatically change. So this way you can keep on, you know, creating a new artifact from scratch. But now, what if you want to insert an artifact after this introduction? Because if you observe here, after introduction, there is some text which is written here. How do I add artifact in between? So it's simple. First thing is I'll just copy this text which is given here, control C and I'll go back to this place. Now if I want to insert artifact after this introduction, you have to click on this pencil button, insert artifact and there are a few options, insert after, before or you can say as insert below as a child. So now I want that as a child because the text is written in that. So if I click on insert below as a child and I can just keep on, I'll just paste it, control V, I'll paste the text here. But yeah, but if you observe here, that is not what I wanted. That is nothing. It's not a heading, right? If you see here, it is showing us heading. Now, how do I come to know whether it is a heading or a text or a vision? What exactly? So if you want to find out, these are the artifact, uh, different artifacts. What are the types of artifacts? So you just click on this place and you see there's an option as artifact type. So if I click on artifact type here, so parallel to that, I'll get a one column that is nothing but artifact type. So it says everything, whatever you have written, everything is an artifact type as heading but I do not want as heading that is a simple text. So I'll just click on this place and uh, I'll just click on this place and I'll say as edit attributes. If I want to modify edit attributes, the artifact type which I've selected, it should not be this one. It should be as a normal text or you can see as it should be a feature. So I'll just click on this feature or I'll say as vision. So I'll select the vision and click on select the vision, click on save. So once you click on save, it gives you a warning. If you change the artifact type, attributes also will change because every artifact type has different attributes. So I'll say, yes, I want to change it. Now, if you see, it has changed automatically. The heading artifact type has changed as heading. So now if you want, you can change the format, size, style, italic, bold, anything. How do I change it? I have to just click on that place. So I, go, I can go to this pencil button and I can say as set heading as or contained. And I'll say, I do not want it as a heading, but I, I want as something as process guidance. So if I click on this process guidance, now if you observe this heading part was converted into a normal text, the artifact type also has changed to process guidance. So there is one more method by which you can change the artifact type itself, right? So you can keep on adding the different text and it will be done. Now, at any point of time, if you think you want to add an existing artifact, so what you can do is you can just click on this pencil button and you see there's a second option as insert existing artifact. So if I click on insert existing artifact, again, it will ask you three questions before, after and below as a child. So I'll say as, so I'll say as below as a child and I'll select anything as 2808 and click on add and close. So if you observe after this 2841, there was one more artifact which has been added to the existing artifact and it is nothing but a sub part itself and the name of this artifact type is nothing but a storyboard. So if you observe here, what we have seen is how do we insert a new artifact, insert an existing artifact, but there's one more thing, you can upload an artifact. When I mean to say upload an artifact, you can upload any artifact, a video file, a PDF file, Excel sheet, you can uh, add a Word document, any Microsoft PowerPoint, anything. So I'll add a PDF document, which I have on the desktop. So I'll just click on this upload artifact and I want after, and I'll choose the file. So I'll just close this. When I say I can choose the file, these are the different, uh, you know, supporting different types of documents which it, it can upload. So I'll say as choose file and I want to add this file as AdSense, click on open and I'll click on OK. So once I click on OK, a, a document will be added at this place. And if you see here, if I click on that, it will open automatically. So that's the one document. Now I'll go back. I do not want to see this document. But the thing is, this place, you see there's an AdSense which is added here. And if you just keep your cursor on that place like this, it gives you the same options like when you used to add the artifact inside the artifact. Now you can see this option as like this, open in this place itself. And I can keep on scrolling that part. And I can click on close button. So this way you can add, you can create an artifact from the scratch. You know, you can add an existing artifact and also you can upload an artifact. That's all for this video.